Hey everybody, it's Jada, aka Mrs. Moon Heaven. Here are all my socials, blah blah blah, let's cut to the chase. This is going to be a video about how much I got done on my trip when I went on a family vacation to Florida and I started a project that was my like, that was, it was my vacation project essentially and I just wanted to have something where like I knew that we would do a lot of waiting. For those of you who have gone to any amusement park, but especially Disney World with how crowded it is, you know that there's like a lot of waiting, whether that's online for rides or even like in between shows or parades, or even literally just like waiting for your family to get out of the bathroom. I'm a, I'm one of five children, and so there's a total of seven of us on the trip, so there's like a lot of waiting that we always do. So I wanted to have something that was easy to bring with me, wasn't too big, and kind of mindless to do. So I'm going to bring you through that and show you how much I got done. Check this out. And yeah, so I worked on it on the plane and then in Disney World. So I don't, I didn't record any footage on the plane. So I'll show you how much I got done on the plane right here. Because I did get it started and everything. And I just filmed a little TikTok on that. And then I actually started in Disney World. So without further ado, here we go. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, I hope... Uh, the next time you, if you go to Disney World, that uh, you have something to bring. Yeah, this is also, I guess, my coming out as a Disney adult. I'm sorry. Prior to contrary belief, I am like a little bit older than I look. I'm like right in the middle of Gen Z and Millennial. And my friends always say the one thing that gives me a way um, about my age is that um, I am a closeted Disney adult. <laughs> like I'm not a high key Disney adult of anything. Like I do not want to get married there. I do not want to get proposed to there um but i do have a lot of fun when i'm there and i do like know all the parades and stuff and i did used to work there what can i say what can i say i do i do know a lot of the words to most disney movies and i do know most of the songs what can i say what can i say what so like kill me it's such a fun time especially as an adult especially when you could afford things when you could like drink around the world in epcot i i don't i don't care I, I, I don't give a fuck. My partner, very much not a Disney person whatsoever. He loves Epcot. Everybody would love Epcot. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, if you do end up going, I hope this gives you inspiration to bring a project along with you on the rides. You get a lot done while you're waiting, and then also, you don't mind waiting as much. Can I also just say that I've had a headache for like four... I, 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 you might not think I look too messed up but i feel like i do because i don't like the way my hair looks right now with this length and my headscarf darling headscarf by the way but i had to take out all my clips because i had a migraine for like literally four hours it just passed thank god i think it was a migraine i never really had one but i looked up the symptoms and i was like oh yeah i had when i was about to like literally throw up from the pain i was like this might not just be a headache After, on like hour three i'm like maybe this isn't just a headache Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so without, without more further ado, let's get to the video. Also, I just wanted to say, excuse the audio. I didn't think of it until after that maybe I should bring like a lav mic or something. So I'm doing my best. Next time I do this, I will probably get a better mic. But yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm here at Epcot today. We're in the park where I'm in Florida. I'm on vacation and I brought my stuff so I could work online. So I wanna show you how much I get done today. I already went to Epcot. No, I'm at Epcot. I already went to Universal like two days ago and I got things done and then I gave up on it. So I guess I got nothing done, but it gives me something to do with my hands. So this is what we have working today. I'm working on a raglan because it's easy to just carry a ball around and, and just knit. Um, but this is what I did on the plane over. And I was thinking that every time I go in a line or something, I'll change colors, but we did already go on the Ratatouille ride and the Test Track ride, and that I, I didn't even finish one row, so we'll see how that goes. But every time I'm waiting around, there's so much waiting, just, just gonna do it and show you, and I'm gonna do it today, tomorrow, the next day, and the day after that, and show you how it's done. So today is day one, day two for me technically, but with my family, day one, and we're at Epcot. Now check this out. Thank you. I actually prepared so that my bag wasn't full and I did little tiny balls so I filled them in here so I wouldn't have to carry a lot and I have a bigger needle size and so that way when I knit it just hangs off so it doesn't have to go from anywhere so I'm center pulling because I'm
So during some of my knitting clips, I'm going to insert some voiceovers of what was going on throughout the day. Here, actually, I am waiting for my family to get done with the bathroom, I believe, and gift shops. So this was really handy to have while waiting for literally anything. So we actually just did the Ratatouille ride and something else, I forget. And we're gonna go back to the world showcase so we can start eating and like drinking around the world. Mostly eating, my family doesn't really drink. I had some drinks around the world. They did too, but not that much. And it was so hot. It was so hot today. It was hot most of the trip, but like, this was like such a punch in the gut to come from the beginning of fall weather from New York to just still the hottest weather in Florida. There was also a lot of time that I had to do some waiting while my family was eating. The clip on the left is a bathroom break again and then the clip on the right was during a time that they were eating because my family isn't vegan but i am so sometimes there wasn't anything for me to do but like wait for them to be done so it was also good for me to have my project so they could just eat and i never was bored you know i didn't have to go on my phone or anything either all right we're on a new color i only did two rows but while waiting for them to get food while waiting for them to go while waiting for yeah, I think that's it. And just chill it. Um, we're about to go back and we're going to for a second time for 25 minutes. Uh, so I just changed colors and we'll see how long it takes for that. It's going to be 25 minutes, so let's see. By the way, I'm using DK weight yarn and 4 millimeter hook, so that way, 4 millimeter needle, so that way it kind of takes a little bit of time and it doesn't really work up that fast. But I'm curious to see how far I can go. I never made a raglan with this much before. Look at my tension. Look at my color work in the back. I did such a good job. I mean, you can sit in the front now for Remy. So much more immersive that way. Hit it. You can sit in the front for you. So you get splashed water. Splash out. Splash out. Splash out. Ew. I saw a video of like people drinking the splash of watermelon. Ooh. Ooh, tropical mimosa with guava. It's actually really tasty. Should have got the flight. It's good. Oh my god, I'm so sweaty. I got another one. Cider. It's nighttime now. We're in Mexico. Can you zoom? Oh, not. In You're trying to get in. <laughs> I like to like quivering doing this. You're quivering? Yeah, my legs. <laughs> it hurts. Just kidding. It's daytime. Very hot. The boat. We're going on the boat. It's so hot. So hot. We're melting. I was separated from my family on the boat, but I was working on something while I was outside. They were inside being squashed and I was out here. So we took the boat from one side of Epcot to the other so we didn't have to walk it because it was really long and really hot. So we can go on the Guardians of the Galaxy ride and yeah, that ride's late. Look at this. It's actually, it's so, I think it's my favorite ride, honestly. So this is how much I got done so far. And this was the longest wait that we had the whole day, which was tragic because look how much yarn I brought and I didn't bring any of the extra balls of yarn. So I did have to stop midway through the wait. Tragedy has I already did like two or three rows though. On the first two, first two rides, I, did, I only did half a round. But now I wanna go back on Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians. No, I am hungry. Okay, guys. I really didn't do anything in the last half. It's so hot and I'm so tired. I'm for the mine ride. It's the first ride of the day. No coffee, just sweat. We're in fantasy land today. I um, doing fun cam because I had to walk away from my family for a moment because they are in the sun and I need to be in the shade. There's gonna be a lot, lot more waiting than yesterday, I think. Look, OOTD, OOTD, Aiden's hop. Not the biting, but I need to be in the shade. It's already so hot. It's 9 09 a.m. and it's already so hot. That wait, they said it was gonna be. 60 minutes and it was like 30 minutes so i did like not even half a row um but we're gonna go on another line bang up the line so probably get a good amount done i brought more bowls than i did yesterday so 
That's good. Look, my bra is showing. I'm so embarrassed. I need coffee real bad. Real bad. I usually don't drink coffee until like like two now, but but I'm tired. I need it bad. Oh god, I lost my family. Mom? How'd I lose them? Oh my god. Where'd they go? Oh, I was in the shade. I got my earrings. I put them back on. I took them off for the ride. Oh, I switched them. I wanted this on this side. These glasses don't look good, like pushed up to my face, but it looks kind of like this. Okay, so this is me waiting for the daytime parade, but there was actually so much waiting that we had to do that I actually wasn't knitting because we were just so agitated. So this is crazy, but when I said that we were in Fantasyland, I was like, that's kind of funny because we ended up only really being in Fantasyland and like Tomorrowland because we went to go somewhere else, like, I don't know, Adventureland or Frontierland or whatever it was, doesn't matter. And they were like, oh, this area is closed like indefinitely. And they didn't tell us why, and they said indefinitely, which I thought was weird. And I do have a friend that works at Magic Kingdom, but he wasn't around until later, so he didn't know anything about this, so something had to have happened. So as we're on, like, hour one of just kind of waiting around, we see that everywhere is so crowded. Like, this is September, so it's really not supposed to be that packed. It's off-season, but it looked like the middle of summer, like August, July, when everybody's off, like, there was so many people on Main Street. It, it was so crowded. All the wait times were like way up and it just shouldn't have been. And that was because there was literally a bear in Magic Kingdom. Like there was a bear in a tree somewhere in like Frontierland. So they had to get it down. So they had to close off literally half the park because they couldn't get the bear. I, I don't know. So a lot of the day was us waiting around. We were going to go wait on rides or something like that. But like it just... It wasn't worth it to wait like 90 minutes minimum for something that usually is a 15 minute wait. So while we were sitting down about to wait for the park, my parents actually went to guest relations along with like a lot of other people. Like the wait for guest relations was about an hour long to get some like comps basically. So a lot of people ended up being comped for their tickets to either go to another park or come back the next day. And we were able to like go to another park and then like come back to Magic Kingdom the next day because that was the only days that we had and you know we basically wasted a day so that's what happened for the first half of the day so we ended up going to Holly getting a ticket for Hollywood Studios later on after we were able to see the parade being nasty they're touching the floor but this is why you always wash, wash your knits but also imagine where my hands have been just like touching my fucking needles wash your knits especially if you're nasty like me <laughs> hey, your brother's in the way. Look. I'm gonna use this. <laughs> yeah, it's cotton, it'll absorb. <laughs> I dropped, almost dropped this going into the rise of resistance. It would have been so bad. I think I have picked up you. the pirate? What is this? Oh, the pirate. <laughs> genuinely like. literally so tired physically and now like sleepy tired my feet freaking hurt so bad I walked seven and a half miles on Saturday well Friday into Saturday technically 11 yesterday nine so far today the Wednesday before I even went away I literally walked 0.6 miles I'm so tired I I cut my yarn. I cut my yarn because I think I thought I was done with the round, forgetting that I had to finish the round first before I cut it. Hi, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna do an alternating green and blue set of rows for a little bit. It's an increased row. It's not. We're gonna eat and then watch a show and then go home actually thankfully i'm freaking so tired and we have such a long day tomorrow so i was actually so physically tired that even like right before this i was sitting somewhere else not even i don't even think i 
crocheted. Sorry, I didn't knit. My bad. I didn't knit for a while. I was just like literally sitting there. I don't think I had it with me. We walked all the way to try to go on Tower of Terror. But by the time we got there, the wait time like doubled. And my dad, we keep all of our stuff in a stroller. And my dad didn't bring the stroller over. So while I was waiting for probably 30 minutes to an hour, I was like, I can't move anymore. I'm just going to sit here and rest while you guys do whatever. I also come back to Disney a lot more often than my family because I still have friends that work there from when I work there. And so I'll visit them and I'll go often. So if there's ever a time that like there's an opportunity that they can go do something and I don't have to do it, usually when I'm just like too tired or if there's not enough room on the ride for like seven of us because let's say it only fits six I'll just sit out I don't have a problem with that but I do want to do a lot of stuff with them because it's the only time they're here I physically could not move anymore so I just sat down and rested until my dad brought the stroller over and then I waited again before we waited for Fantasmic to start which is what I'm doing right here and we waited for a family watched the show and that was basically the end of the night all right, so it's the next day. We're back at Magic Kingdom. Pretend that the sun isn't setting and this was the first clip that I took. I also need to show you my outfit, which like just completely slaps. Me and my family dressed up for the Halloween party that was later that night. So we were only supposed to go to the Halloween party, which starts at four. Well, you can get in at four. It doesn't start till actually like seven. But because if you remember the bear at the park the day before, we were comp tickets to go in the morning too. So this was our longest day. My family went when the park opened, like at eight, which is crazy because we were out until like 10, 10 30 the night before. We don't get into bed until like tw at least 12. We actually, we as in me and my two brothers and sister, didn't get in until like I think it was like 10, 10 30 because I had a catastrophe in the morning. I actually didn't have this t-shirt done until the morning of, and it was a whole big mess, it doesn't really matter, but I didn't get to leave until like 9.30, and we were like freaking out at first. Not, not me as much, but I was like kind of freaking out because I felt like my siblings were freaking out, that they were missing some of the day, and then they realized that we literally had a 14-hour day ahead of us, and it was fine. And we got a lot done because the park was way better than the day before like it was actually empty especially because a lot of people don't go before a halloween party there's no lines anywhere because they only get admission until seven so the park closes early and on top of that it was off season so we actually got got to do a lot the bear the bear actually gave us a nice reward it wasn't it's not about the the destination it's about the bear friends we made along the way let me tell you while i'm sitting over here in this area um we were sitting over here like an hour before the first show we decided to stay in this spot for the next like three shows slash parades because it was a good spot for all three of them and also that was like the main attraction basically and we were all d down with like waiting that long because we had been going all day and you know we all wanted to see these shows so as we get there, another family gets there too, and sits right next to us. So we all have basically collectively decided that this is where we're going to be for the next couple hours, for the next few shows. After the first show, we still stay where we are. Everybody pushes up to the stage, but we like decided to stay where we are so that we could see the parade next. This, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I feel a body go down my leg and sit on my foot. I don't even like people I know touching me. And all of a sudden, a stranger is on my foot. So I look at my mom, and we're both like, what the hell? Like, we are too flabbergasted to even say anything. Like, usually I would say something at this point, but also, it's a family establishment. I don't want to cause any problems. But then, it's a couple. So the girl is on my foot, quite literally. She's still up against my leg. Me and my mom are still baffled. The guy, the dad of the family next to us is basically like, hey, like, we were here for a while. Like, you know, my kids want to see, and you're sitting here. And this guy, the boyfriend of this girl, he's such a jerk. He's like oh, well, she's sitting here now, so now what? Like, so smug. And basically, long story short, the whole thing devolves, like, real fast. Because strike one, you're on my foot. Strike two, this guy, the fa the, the dad, he's, like, more soft-spoken. And I feel like this, this jerk was taking advantage of that. So my mom stepped in and was like, come on, like, don't do this. Once again, just devolved. Like, I w me and my brother were trying to be the calm ones, being like, just don't be like that. Like, come on, are you really going to do this right now? And so everybody's arguing, he's being real smug, and then at one point, oh my god, he puts his hand over my, like, like, right, like, inches from my mom's face. Basically because he was like, I don't want her staring at me anymore. 
all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. My first thought is like, I don't want to get banned from Disney World. Even though I was so mad, I did jump at one point to like yell, but being like, don't fucking put your hands on my mom's face. But then like, I was like, we cannot get banned from Disney World. I'm doing damage control. Cast member comes over there like, is everything okay? I'm like, listen, this guy, blah, 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 blah. A manager comes over afterwards and he's like, asking us if everything's okay. I'm still doing damage control. That's my cats, by the way, if you hear anything. Um, and he was like, listen, we're here for you. So he was on our side. So I don't know what happened with that other family, but oh my God, they were jerks. They were terrible. In the whole debacle, my two $5 Coca-Colas got spilt. I went to the manager later on. He did give me a Coke and also gave me a brownie. He was really nice. And at the end, the family that was right next to us also thanked us. He was so nice. Like while everything was going down, I'm there like my family's literally going down Main Street fighting this family. Um, he was trying to like watch all our stuff and make sure that like our spots were saved. He was so sweet. So dude, the way that some people could be just so entitled and nasty at Disney World. Like you don't go to Disney World expecting a fight, but sometimes it just happens anyway. I don't regret it. I'm glad that that we all stuck up for ourselves and the family next to us because those people were jerks. Oh my God, I wish you could have seen. Maybe not. Maybe it was ugly, but Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening to this long story. <laughs> With the rock and roll music. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this day was more of an impromptu day uh, me and my sister ended up going and it was such a good time there was not a lot of people at the park at all we ended up seeing like all these random characters out on the street and we there was no line so we just went for fun and it was really fucking funny like we went on the spongebob line i swear to you three times we saw vector and we just look like this is so silly it, it was so silly we were having a good time we went on a lot of rides and then we accidentally convinced my mom to go to halloween horror nights later on um unfortunately it did end up like downpouring so the first half felt like a waste but then it ended up being fine after separating all the scare actors were able to come out which was nice we got to see the megan dolls but we didn't see the performance and that was really upsetting for me but it's fine we did end up seeing this was what i was waiting for the entire night the best part of halloween horror nights this year these vampires they are groovy vampires that like they go around they eat people and they slay i mean come on we also went on the in the horror houses but not till the end of the night because it was downpouring so hard in the beginning that we literally couldn't do anything because everything was shut down so that was a bummer but we ended up hitting a lot of the houses by the end of the night i only really knit on one of them the one for the blood moon because that was a longer line and that one was one of the houses that actually really scared me the only house that scared me the other line that we waited on we didn't realize was going to be so long but i didn't really knit because these two girls in front of me they were drunk and like kind of arguing so i was invested in listening and then the rest of them were kind of walk on because they were last minute so i didn't knit and then the last day was just a rest day so we got to go into the lazy river that the hotel that we stayed at had and I just knit poolside, also went in the river, went into the hot tub to rest my little feet. And then, yeah, we went to Disney Springs. Then we had the flight home, which was literally delayed. So we didn't get home until 2 a.m. But yeah, that's that's that. Okay, so it is like more than a month later and I never really showed the progress I did. And I have worked on it a little bit since. I did go to upstate New York like the day after I got back from Florida. So I did do some stuff. I think I started... If I'm not mistaken, I think I started like on this row upstate. So I've done that much since. And then when I came back from upstate, I started maybe on this row. So I haven't really picked this up because this is more of a leisure project and an on the go project. Like I'm going to Boston tomorrow. So I will be doing some of this there too because it's just easy to bring. It's small. It takes a while to work up. Yeah, so that's. That's how much I got done here. Let me show you a nice close up. This is like the first time I've also done like this much color work. I'm really proud of first of all being able to do this while on the go in Disney World because as you know that I'm a fairly new knitter. I guess it has been technically a year since I've like actually learned. Um, but I still kind of count it as like I really picked it up in November of last year. Like I learned in August, did it for two weeks and like gave up and then really picked it up in November of last year. Haven't I feel like I've only finished one no that's a lie i finished like a handful of projects i was gonna say one but that's such a lie but i've only finished raglans but this is so fun you know having a project too that is smaller yarn is better because then up until probably probably the summer not counting when i first started crocheting i only use thicker yarns because i'm impatient but i got like a really 
I got new appreciation for smaller yarn projects over the summer after hanging out with my friends who use way smaller yarns than I usually do. So I actually really appreciated doing a smaller yarn project because it doesn't get too big and it takes longer. So it takes longer to do. So therefore like you're not carrying a big project with you, but also whenever I go on vacation, I like to bring projects that do take longer than the ones that I would do at home because I like having one set project, you know, so I would want to do something that takes a longer amount of time, if that makes sense. And also choosing a raglan to do because it's, for me, a lot more mindless. Like, yes, you have to keep track of the increases, but it's, like I said, the only pro knit project that I've finished, one and two, it's mostly just knitting. You don't have to worry about purling unless you're on, like, the ribbing rows, but I'm actually, I didn't do ribbing at the top because I want to put a collar. And three, it's all one piece. You could just kind of measure as you go for so many reasons but I mean I also think the same thing for like granny square projects or like one continuous granny square project that would be easy to bring on your trip so yeah let me know how you like this video I know that I haven't created a lot, a lot of videos and I keep saying this but I literally mean it I'm making more videos more regularly I'm not gonna come out with a schedule yet because I'm not gonna promise anything that I can't fail but I want to come out with more videos more consistently I want to have this channel be a bigger thing and I have so many things already planned and even filmed that I just have to sit down and edit. So I hope you're all excited for that. Please subscribe if you are excited for that. I want to do videos more like this, but also some tutorials like the ones I already have on my page. Some talking videos, you know. If you follow me on my other socials, then you already know. If you don't, go check them out. I'll put them up again. And smash that like button leave a comment on literally whatever relating to this video or not relating to this video or something you want to see um uh check out my patreon check out my patreon um i have a lot of perks that i'm going to be changing up that i'm going to let my patrons know about because i don't think i'm going to be creating patterns as often as i do which was the main perk so you know the main the main point of the patreon would really be ha helping support me if you can uh, this is my full-time job, and sometimes some months are better than others. So if, if you have a dollar to ten to spare, you know, every month or even one month and then cancel it, and you like the content I make, consider supporting me on Patreon because it really helps me out. I know you hear it from a lot of creators, but it's the truth. It really helps a girl out, you know. So, yeah, love you. Love you, love you, and here's a thank you to my patrons now. Love you, bye. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of my patrons. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much for your support. And if you would like to see your name on here or you would just like to be able to financially support me in any way, and you have a dollar to ten to spare every month or maybe just for a few months consider joining our patreon um like i said i'm gonna change the perks so be sure when you sign up to read that i'll be sending out an email soon on what the perks will be but yeah i appreciate you all and i love you even if you are not a patron i love you bye hope you enjoyed the video bye